Hello everyone, welcome back to Typing Mind channel. Yesterday, Google just dropped Gemini 2.5 Pro, their most intelligent AI model that competes with GPT 4.5 Preview, DeepSeek R1, and Claude 3.7's Sonnet thinking model. You can see the benchmark here. Many of their scores are higher than other models, from Humanity Last Exam, Visual Reasoning. Today, I'll test Google Gemini 2.5 Pro against Claude 3.7 Sonnet, DeepSeek R1, and GPT 4.5 Preview with a simple coding test. Let's see how these four models solve the problem. All right, first up is Gemini 2.5 Pro. The model supports plugins, so make sure you turn on the plugins you need. I've already enabled Interactive Canvas and others to view the code run directly here in Typing Mind. I challenged it to create a fully working chess game in a single HTML file. It's such a shame that Gemini doesn't return the thinking tag to view its thinking process. Hope Google will add it via API soon. Gemini responded, noting that a fully compliant game is complex, but it provided a functional basic version. It generated the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript all within one file, clearly stating the limitations, like no checkmate detection or special moves. But it didn't use the plugin, so I asked it to use Typing Mind's interactive Canvas plugin. Gemini then rendered the game directly in our chat. So let's test it out. I could click on a white pawn, see its possible moves highlighted, and move it forward. The turn correctly switched to black. I moved a black pawn back and forth. Amazing that it also correctly prevented me from moving pieces when it wasn't their turn. Played some more. Finally, the reset game button worked, setting the board back to the start. So, great job. Gemini successfully created a basic but playable chess game in a single file and displayed it interactively, meeting the core request while managing expectations about its features. Next, I tested DeepSeek R1 with the same single file HTML chess game prompt. DeepSeek's approach was interesting. It first outlined its thinking process, explaining how it would structure the code. It generated the single HTML file, but was very upfront, explicitly stating this would be a basic version, more like a chessboard prototype. It warned that features like move validation, checkmate, and turn management were not included, and that the result would allow any move regardless of chess rules. A bit sad because DeepSeek R1 doesn't support plugins, so I used the Open in Code Pen button it provided. The visual chessboard rendered successfully. However, when I tried playing, DeepSeek's warning proved accurate. I could click on any piece, white or black, and move it to any square I clicked on next. There was no concept of turns or valid chess moves. It simply moved the piece symbol wherever I indicated. So, DeepSeek R1 created the requested single file and a visual board, but as it predicted, it wasn't a playable game, just a board where pieces could be freely repositioned. Zero score for DeepSeek R1. Next up was Claude 3.7 Sonnet using the same single file chess prompt. Make sure you turn on the thinking mode for its reasoning capability. Claude outlined its plan, aiming for basic rules and interaction, and then proactively use Typing Mind's interactive canvas to immediately render the game it created within a single HTML file. It also provided a list of the features it successfully included. Testing the game showed significant improvement. It correctly handled piece selection, highlighted valid moves, enforced turns, and allowed captures. The reset button also functioned correctly. Claude delivered a much more playable and feature-rich basic chess game compared to DeepSeek R1, directly rendering a functional version with key chess rules implemented. Congrats, Claude. 3.7 Sonnet, you earn your deserved score. Lastly, I tested GPT-4.5 Preview with the identical single-file HTML chess game prompt. GPT-4.5 Preview generated the code within a single file and stated it was a complete and working, simple, interactive chess game. I then asked it to render the code using the interactive canvas, which it did successfully, displaying a green and white chessboard. When I tried playing, similar to DeepSeek R1's implementation, I could freely move any piece, black or white, to any square on the board without any rules being enforced. There was no concept of turns, no validation of legal chess moves, and pieces could jump over others or move in patterns completely contrary to chess rules. Sorry, GPT 4.5 preview, you get zero point for this test. So tell me which models you like so far. Are you a rule breaker who likes playing chess freely without any enforcement, or are you a rule respecter? Just kidding. If you love the content, please hit like and subscribe for more AI news. Love you all.